to the driveway. So that's what drives a lot of the heights because as you move it up and down the driveway, grade changes or the slope changes. That's what. But the height from, let's say, the, the existing grade, grade here, where you are now, here is that. Three to four. Do you, do you four estimate four how much of the top of the hill would have to come off to get that much of a pad for 5,000 square foot for each, each unit? No, we, you know, we're still working out all the numbers. It's too premature to say, because even like this right now, it, it's already up there. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, because it's not <laughs> that far up. Well, we're already able to not be able to get in there, because there's a wall that comes to the back part of that property. Right. Mm -hmm. And then there's a the state of the line. Right, and as I mentioned, those houses are being built yeah. up the slope because of that. So well, those are being built up. Engineer, 
when those guys are out there and they do it, they have you know little machines and they do they count, and then interceptions are rated and all that sort of stuff. So it, there's like the professionally way done, but I can tell you what I did is I just I sat up there and watched it because I heard you last time because you were saying you know backs up. So the days that I was there and looking at it when. Um, when, when I was watching, basically the north and south, it was pretty much free flow of traffic. That's mostly, it looks like the lights are timed to allow that north-south traffic to go back and forth. And then Lombardi, it, it's, it's typically a red, you know, coming out of eastern. So I saw anywhere from one or two cars during that time period. The greatest number of cars I counted was 12. And I think you're right, it kind of came like right back up to you know, somewhere around here. But I also watched them, and every one that I saw, and not everyone got to 12, but every person who was in line was able to come out and back. So there wasn't, like it didn't inch up, and then you'd have to go through multiple cycles of a red, green, red, green to get through. Oh, because I also saw a clock. That's a thoroughfare for a young boy to Eastern is a thoroughfare. If you go there at like 5 o'clock, that's what Mr. Pardo was there. And that's the traffic does come down from the white from Alhambra Road. That's a cut through. You get to like Kennedy Drive and go both sides. Yeah, past. and as part, as part of the overall civility, <coughs> it's part of the the lead agency, and so they will basically guide all of this evaluation, and we will provide the reports necessary that will be done by the you know traffic engineers, and they will test it at different times of the day, and we will, as part of our approval, comply with all the recommendations. The skeptic part of me is I really would like to be, believe that someone's actually going to make a left turn, not make a left turn on the Eastern. I, I mean, I'm telling you right now, I would really, and I took this part of You mean from, from, from Lombardi? No, no from, 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 from Lombardi. Uh, okay. Because it, it's a very, it's a deceptive curve, and for people to make that left mm -hmm. turn, and try to make a right turn, and to make another right turn, that stop, make another right turn, to get back onto the Eastern. Uh, I just part, I'll be calling his office and say, there's another T-bone. <laughs> there's another T-bone. Well, Same thing's going to happen on, on Eastern, too. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. by the traffic engineer, and they'll, they'll require whatever it is from us, and they'll, they'll make it, you know, safe. And they're going to do their analysis, and then we follow what they do. So none of us are traffic experts. But I do hear you loud and clear that you know, there's traffic out there. Right? It's just, I don't think there's a street in the city of LA, nor Chicago, or New York, or you know, um, San Francisco, or Beijing, or London, that you don't have a ton of traffic. And it's just kind of the way it is. And so they're going to make requirements of us, and we're going to follow them. They'll be the conditions. So, but we hear you loud and clear, and we want it to be safe and navigable and not creating problems. Thank you. Next question. Yeah, I just want to say that uh, the previous developer was proposing the same thing, which is building homes, car we can have the maybe changing some ordinances. That meant the whole character of us are going to change. So, you're asking to do the same thing? Okay, uh, and, and, so... But wait, let me finish. And secondly, these places are pretty dense. Now you intend to bring more people, so how are you helping us? Uh, I don't see any point in you insisting to build this monstrosity. I, pardon, but that's the truth. That's what I see. Why don't you take the plan and build somewhere like Palmdale and take all the space that you want to take build up, down, whichever way. This is not benefiting me or the community. I mean, well, we have so okay. many grievances okay. already. Okay. That so, we can you just ask, ask yeah. the question on how, how are you helping us as a community? Because that's, that's what's relevant. Those are the taxes. Okay, so this has nothing to do with the prior applicants. The prior company was talking about doing a school. And dorm, so this is literally nothing to do with that. Excuse me. Same, same idea. Different name, same idea. Same we, it's, 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 not it's not the same owner. It's, 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 it's not the same idea. Oh, you're building. Well, yeah. we're building. I'm sorry, that's the idea. We're building. <laughs> we had 500 people who opposed that. Yeah. It's okay. a completely different. Yeah. Somebody bought the school and condo buildings and dorms are different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The previous guy owned it, we're, we're buying it. 
we're not associated with him. He's not the son of the buyer. And, uh, ma'am, uh, uh, you, 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 your point. It's your business. Your business. No, no, no. You need to, I understand, okay. but you need to take that somewhere else, not here. Okay, that's a concern, but can, we, can you let him answer your question as far as how yeah. is he yeah. how, how is so, helping us? Yeah, how is it helping Well, single family homes are needed in California. They're needed in Los Angeles. And there's a lot of people who would want to live in homes in Southern California, in Los Angeles. This is a site that's zoned for single family homes. It's not zoned for school. And so what our pro proposal is, is to create single family homes in this area. This is a residential neighborhood. There were, there, there was residential here, there was multifamily, there was single family, and there was commercial. And so the, the, the benefit is when you create new homes, you know, it, it'll add a number of things. One, students to the school. The schools have capacity and want more students. So that's one thing. And so that's why I think the schools are very interested and in favor of it. Two, when, when you build and create something new, it tends to increase the Excuse values me. I'm sorry, for the neighborhood. Okay. And so other you know, residents benefit because you know, of progress and, and, and development. You have nice new homes, that, again, single family, you know, that tends to add value to the community. And a lot of people, what we found who live in, in areas, want their other family members, maybe children, to come and move back, or, or friends and things. And when you're impacted and there's really no homes that are you know, essentially available, at least in mass, and certainly nothing new, you know, it makes it you know, really difficult. It drives pricing higher. And so I think there's a number of different things. And We've talked to you know, people in the neighborhood who would want to buy homes. And so as the values go up, they may be able to sell their home for a higher amount and move in to a different home. So. Next question? Do you have a question? Yeah, like right. that. Unless you're building down the Is that a normal two-story house? But that's not cutting the deal. 
this is one. This is showing one that's on low. Right. right. So if one were cutting the hill and it were um, like a downslope from the street, it would look like a one story. Mm -hmm. And then it would, it would go down. And then if it's um, up the slope, like in, um, well, we don't have it. Well, these goes up the slope here. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so, so from the street, if you're, if you're in Lombardi looking at it, it would be, you, you would look and see a two-story house. So the ground level would have a garage and a front entry, and then there would be a setback, you know, from the front wall of the garage to where the um, second floor is. And, but it's going to go farther back than the bottom one. And so if you, it's kind of hard to describe, but it, you know, it's, 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 but yeah, from, from the driveway, it's it two notches, stories. Yeah, it's kind of here. But the grand total is within the height limit of 24 foot. <clears throat> Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, 26 feet. Um, Thomas, we're on out. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to move on, sir. No questions? Hey, man? Sir? No? Um, well, it's still a um, point of view. But still, I think it's a lot of homes for the hill. They're just too big. Um, on the Lombardi side, I still see it. It's, I still can't picture all those six houses in that tiny lot. Whether it's this way, that way, or oh, either way, <laughs> it's just mind-boggling that six houses look like that. I think there's just more about it. It's a chicken place. Yeah. 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 Rivers are pointing out when, the, when, the, when the, you are, uh, uh, when you look, you know, actually have a picture of this. Yeah, because when, when you look at it, okay. Okay, let, let's address that. So, so this wall that's here right now is just that's the existing. Okay, so this is not where th this would be, because again, so this is one of comments about setbacks and things. So we're we're setting back. The steepness of the slope is not that great right here, and so we would th this would actually push back, and the wall would would actually be in the house, right? The, the, we're, we're in the, the house, house. The house will retain. The house will retain on, on that ground floor. So, it is, you know, the ground floor is here, and then the second floor is there. there. There's going to be a street there in front of it also. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me uh, yeah. put that one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. Well, you have the Okay, so there's a the point of There's like an the Egyptian tent. <laughs> Egyptian? Egyptian like, tents, they're, they're small, but you inside. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, I still think it's just too many houses. Okay. Well, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sir? Um, my, my comment, there's a question in there. Um, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, they legally can build the houses they want because it's zoned for single family homes. But to make it profitable, they need to put more of them on there. Mm -hmm. So they're going to look, there's something protecting this hillside called the hillside ordinance. Okay? That stops them from putting that many homes on it. I believe that's what they're going to want to change, is the hillside ordinance. But if they don't change the ordinance, they could put houses, as many as they can, with the existing hillside, which limits the number of houses, which makes it no more doesn't make it profitable. <coughs> so they can build on it with the existing hillside. Um, like I said, if I'm wrong, somebody can tell me that you're going to try to change that hillside orange. Can't change the ordinance. It's not possible. Plus, what, maybe what they can do is change the configuration to allow for more density. And that becomes a numbers game. Right. But that's and different. Now, how they're talking about some lots being smaller and bigger. Right. Right. And to remove as much grade as they're going to do on that for that project will require change we'll with the hillside ordinance. Would you be complying with the hillside ordinance? Well, Is that yeah. your question, sir? If they're going to be requesting Correct. anything such? Yeah. Well, that, that's, that, we are working very hard to comply. There's actually three different hillside ordinances, not just one, plus there's the small lot ordinance, plus there's general planning guidelines. So it is kind of complicated. And we're working with all of that as our goal to comply with the Northeast Hillside Ordinance and to not seek to change. Well, first of all, you can't change it. 
but, but to go within the rules. That's what we're working really hard. And that's why we don't have as many precise answers as some of you would like us to say. It's exactly this or that. Because, you know, it's almost like a balloon. You know, you kind of fill it there. You, you push on one side, it makes something comply, and it goes out the other. And so that's what we're doing. We're working on trying to, you know, everything. You know, yeah. heights and not setbacks. Get a variance. Yeah, we're not. We're, once you get a variance, anything you get a variance. Well, people. Can you explain? I mean, if you do seek that, there would have there'd be a process that would involve the community, right? Yes. Yeah, and well, that's yeah. what we're in right now. Well, like, if you go back to the... Okay, remember the last meeting at the TOE thing? Did, you were there. <laughs> were you, you were at the TOE. Okay, right, so the, the gentleman who was up before us came in and asked the group for variance because he had a house and his wall... I don't remember the exact details, but... He needed a like, third wall. He needed a third wall because you're know, supposed to have, like, two walls. And he said he could go through this, but he didn't want to spend the time and money to go through the Z8... Uh, permitting, yeah, to get that determination, and so he wanted to get the support of the group. I, did, did you ever get voted on? Did you support? Yes, it, it was approved on um, Monday. Monday. Okay, so there's sort of a situation you want to look at it. There's someone who came in who he couldn't comply or didn't want to comply, and made his case to people, and then people said, yeah, you know, we, yeah, you got this ordinance, but it's really difficult to comply, so you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and support it. Now, you could have also, as a group, said, we're not going to support that. And then you would have gone through the ZA, and then the city would have looked at it, and they would have made their own determination. So we're, in essence, going through the same process that he did. It's just, you know, we're not just... It's not a law. It's a hill's law. Well, we'll see what that means. No, we'll go through the process of it. And, and because it's a bigger project and there's more to it, walls are apart and, you know, heights and, and everything, setbacks and density and, and all that stuff. And it, it's, um, you know, there's just a lot of, it would be easier if there's like one ordinance, but there isn't. There's these ones and then, you know, just trying to even understand it. And that's where we've had a lot of different meetings with a lot of different departments to, to try to understand that. And simultaneously, I better stop. I'm sorry, I need to interrupt you because our time is running. So we have two options here. We can either have a motion to extend the meeting or we can adjourn our meeting and, and allow the rest. Actually, Sarah, how many more questions are there? Okay. Oh, I want to extend. extend it and continue the way we're continuing. Or we could adjourn and allow. Extend. <laughs> I think you should extend it. Okay. I need a motion to extend it. Can someone motion to extend it? Oh, from the committee. <laughs> Can I join? Can I share? I have a motion to extend the meeting for how long? Until 7.30 from Jorge Garcia. Are you going to second? Seconded by Ben. All in favor? Okay. Go ahead. Add words to yeah. No, we really appreciate so many members of the community being here tonight, so we want to listen to everyone and, and appreciate your, uh, your comments and feedback. And, and we are going up to the end of the room first before we come back to the front, so... Um, Please. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get to you. I'll get to you. But this. Yeah, absolutely. Are you, do you have a question, sir? Is, uh, we're attempting out to uh, Eastern. Is that what, uh, what street is that, Klamath? That it's going to be coming out on, right by Austria Park. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is Clamor, no, right down here. Oh, that's kind of, yeah. 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 What is that? What, what is that street? What about this one? The, the no, no, the entrance. The white property. That right there. Yeah. No, it's not. It's unnamed. Uh -huh. there's, there's, yeah. What I said earlier. There's actually a driveway there now. There's a curb cut in a driveway there now. So it's not a street right now. It's a private drive. drive. And this is also <laughs> deemed a private drive as well, but it doesn't. The only concern I think a lot, a lot of us have is just the, the traffic, the amount of traffic. And when you drive through there, not so much, you, you might say, you know, there's all cars backed up, but what's the problem is once you get on the main thoroughfare of Eastern, just to get from there to uh, Valley, you're talking anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes, you know, and sometimes it's longer. Yeah. So that, adding. You know, uh, two car garages. We know, in fact, usually, you know, your teenagers and stuff, you have four, car, four cars usually, right? So you're adding that much more people on the highway. That's our concern. You know, what, how are they going to get out and where are they going to park? And then how are they going to back up? Not only that, it affects our community services as fire and police response. On uh, emergencies, 
Yeah, maybe they can, they can have uh, their lights and sirens going, but where are they going to go around if it's packed? And that's how it usually gets. And non-emergency, when we, you know, that can escalate into something uh, more drastic, it does get delayed. Those are our concerns, and I, I know that's one of mine. So, and, you know, I hope you guys are able to address it. You know, yeah, that's later that's a blind corner here, too. Yeah, yeah, and a blind corner. I mean, a lot of people, they speed, they're younger, especially all the kids that go through there. There's going to be accidents, so that's, that's another concern we're having. Thank you. And you did have a question after this. this is this a new format that you guys have? Because on the last couple of presentations, there were two entrances yeah. on the Eastern. Yes, exactly. That that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah this, is, this is a new one. <coughs> so so there, there was a driveway. There is a driveway today here. Mm -hmm. and, and it kind of comes in, and it wise, and you can either go left or right, and it takes you to this part of the site. And there's a driveway here. So today, there are two driveways. And so because they were there, you know, we kind of followed it because there were the curb cuts and like one approval we don't have to get. But then people were talking about concerns for safety, the line curve, and you know, having two driveways. And so we um, listened to that and we talked with our traffic engineer, we talked with the city, we talked with um, uh, you know, transportation and stuff. And we decided to change it, and we eliminated the driveway on our plan. It still exists today, but we would not use that, and it would all be, you know, to one single driveway. And and to address the, you know, safety, you know, question and concern of having two driveways like that. Okay. And, and there are a number of traffic lights, by the way. You know, there's, I mean, heading south, there's one at... There's two. There's two right there. And then there's one at... Lombardi. So Forget I mean, that one. there's a lot of <laughs> traffic signals there. Was this a recommendation done by the people that you spoke with? Because if you drive by there and you see it, the one that has been chosen out is the worst one. So was that recommended by people that you spoke with or people that are doing your study? Who made the decision to change it? Yeah. Who to pick just one and why the worst one? And why that one? Well, because we thought that this would be safer than having two. Oh, my Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Is there any other questions? Um, um, I have, uh, yeah, a couple questions. Um, a few weeks ago, there were, there was like a, a tree cutting 